Okay, so after this, we'll match this piece that we have sewn just now. So just match the center part towards the center of the patchwork and right side together. It should be slightly bigger than the patchwork itself. So we just put it at the center and pin it down so that we can trim off the extra fabrics. Okay, so that we have pinned it down, so we can flip it over. So from this side, you can see the extra fabric over here. So we just trim it off with scissors. So um, when we are cutting fabric, you have to make sure that you have the scissors that's flat on one side. So as we cut, then it will follow the anger so it won't become crooked. So lift your fabric down, hold it, and you just cut like this. Trim off all the excess fabric. You just need to sew according to the side. Just go one round back here by using the walking foot. So first, you need to change the walking foot. Lift it up. Put it right on top of the needle bar. Forget to change to needle number 14 before you sew this step because some part of it is quite thick. So it's best it's better for you to change the needle to a bigger size.
might want to go a little bit slower when you reach the zipper part. Okay, so this is what you will get after sewing. So we just take off all the pins. After this, we'll put on the lining fabric over the um, the piece just now. So we just this is the lining fabric. We we'll just put it on. It should be slightly bigger than the article itself. So we we'll do the same thing again. So now we'll just pin it like what we have, did, uh, we have like what we have done previously. So we'll do the same thing again, but then we'll just leave a hole in between over here. We can use the fabric marker. We'll mark around around 5 to 6 inch in between. So later on, we'll stitch over here. We'll do the same thing again. Just stitch over here, reverse, and we'll follow the line. Just go all the way back here and reverse. So which means this gap will not be so long. Since we can't really see the edge clearly from this side, so we'll just flip it over. Okay, and then we might need to mark it again. So it's around 6 inch. Okay, so this part wouldn't be sewing. So let's start from here and reverse. We'll go all the way one round back here and reverse. So we still need to reverse at the beginning. When we reach the line and just press reverse button. Okay, so now we need to trim off the excess fabric at the side. Okay, so we'll do the same thing again. We we'll trim it off and then we can turn it over, over from this hole. 